Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Nice to see you. Uh, so let me introduce myself. My name is Olya, and I work as a recruiter. And the thing which you can say to a recruiter and your partner is that you are open and flexible for any positions. <laughs> Uh, I conduct a lot of interviews and literally I can say that I work in front of web camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but it's not only funds, but brings a lot of money. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, a lot of fun working as a recruiter because once I told the guy, uh, so uh, during the interview will be me and you, maybe someone will join later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you know that um, uh, being a recruiter, it's yeah, a lot of fun. And once my CEO told me, Olya, we should pause a little bit our recruitment, so please keep all candidates warm. Okay, keep them warm. I started sending them nudes. <laughs> <laughs> they were warm <laughs> and hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, huge applause. So, uh, and uh, uh, you know that um, uh, uh, I work remotely, and in Lviv you can uh, notice that, uh, for example, on Credits Cafe when you come, uh, a lot of people working, drinking coffee with laptop. Once I came there and uh, I wanted just to drink a coffee, and waiter asked me, do you have a laptop? So you will, you are going to drink just coffee, <laughs> and uh, you know I want the same self confidence as people who conduct meeting in cafe in English language and in crowded place. I want the same confidence, and um, uh, you know uh, every time I try to encourage my candidates to be confident about uh, uh, his skills and once I have a situation that candidate told me, Olya, I'm not sure that I can pass the interview. I told him, be confident about yourself. He re replied, Olya, I'm sure that I don't pass the interview. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, guys, uh, you know that uh, being a recruiter, you should uh, be flexible and uh, maybe you notice that I can imitate my voice. Not just voice, I can imitate. Hello, my ex. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, you know that um, uh, because of my voice, usually guys ask me about sex, but just by phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm a girl uh, who don't send news, nudes, nudes, <laughs> because boys, boys write me, Olya, please just record your voice, <laughs> don't send you nudes, and um, uh, you know uh, that um, uh, a lot of questions appears about my voice, and once one guy asked me, hmm, interesting, uh, do you scream during the sex, so sexy? And I answer it, I don't scream, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm joking, it's cool. <laughs> and um, uh, did you guys notice that uh, during this period, this, uh, during the war, unfortunately, uh, you receive a lot of messages from uh, your ex, from people from the past, they are worrying, they are caring. I also receive uh, messages from all my ex. Uh, to <laughs> uh, and I received a strange message uh, from people from person who I sold my sofa five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like people becoming so caring, so caring, and yeah, I encourage you caring about our army. So please donate, and you know that once. Uh, yeah, we are so caring about each other, and it's awesome, I guess. And once I was coming back uh, to home by taxi, coming back home, and I was uh, so worried because it was 10.30 p.m. And uh, I was worried because 11, everything is closed, and uh, taxi driver should come back home. And when we was next to my house, it was 10.45 uh, p.m., and I left the car and... Write me when you come back home. <laughs> I came back home. 
he called me back. <laughs> I'm at home. And you know, once I had a strange situation, it was air alarm, and in front of my house was a guy on the roof without a shirt, and I was Oh my God, it's air alarm. I called the police, hello, it's air alarm. One strange guy uh, without a shirt on the roof. Please find his number. <laughs> <laughs> because I guess he's so hot and dangerous, I guess air alarm because of him. Police, uh, five minutes later, police called me back and told me, taxi driver at home. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, uh, you know that. Um, uh, so uh, I, uh, you, uh, all this situation uh, became. Uh, I became so nervous and this ex and anxiety inside me. So I started uh, uh, buying nuts. And I thought that Olya, just stop eating nuts. Maybe uh, you should do something with your psyche. I went to psychologist and I told him. Recently, I read that we are what what we are eating. So I realized that I am nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me that. Oh, now I understand why squirrel from Ace Age so crazy. <laughs> And uh, by then, what I want to say, my phone number, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I want to say that I am waiting for the moment that um, everyone, sh uh, so first of all, learn guys English because uh, you can uh, spread thoughts about Ukraine, support Ukraine, it's really cool. And I'm honestly, I'm waiting for the moment when Ukrainian language will be so popular then Americans will post on stories, on Instagram, post photos and write something in Ukrainian. It will be a hot trend. <laughs> yeah, like not mood. It will be nasty, yeah. And you know what? That my stand up was like sex, like having sex, having phone sex. <laughs> if nothing, if nothing was deep, just it was pleasure to hear me. <laughs> so literally, you you had just you have uh, you have. Oh my God, what's happened with my English? I am so nervous, but I feel, I feel that you are laughing. I feel this connection. Do you have Wi-Fi? Because I feel that we are connected. Uh, so literally you had uh, sex by the phone right now. So please donate and support our army. You are awesome, guys! <laughs>